is um, a butternut squash, pecan, and sage ricotta tart. It's Yum. so easy to make. I make it with phyllo pastry because I find you use phyllo pastry. I love phyllo. It's filo. so it's easy terrific. to make. Yeah. So you just grease your tart thing first, and then you pop on your phyllo pastry. You know, obviously they come frozen, and then you just let it thaw out. You get a little bit of melted butter, and what this does, it crisps up everything. So what you want to do is, I usually put about, you'll say eight sheets of it, and in between every single one. So you this brush is the it next. with a touch of butter. I brush it with a touch of butter, and then it just gets that lovely crispness and it almost looks like a flavor. Christmas star too it's really pretty it does actually yeah so you layer them and layer them and layer them all with the butter in between them and then as you're doing it kind of twist it around right, so it's right, like right. evenly distributed and then you make the filling okay so the fillings over here so I'm going to whisk two eggs so two eggs in here and then I'm going to put some fresh ricotta in but you could use goat's cheese if no, you want we're to. gonna roll with the ricotta because that's what I like yeah I bet you do yeah <laughs> um, so yeah so lovely Whisked up eggs, lovely ricotta in Fresh here. Fresh ricotta. Fresh ricotta. And then some Parmesan cheese, of course. Yeah. It's just good in everything. Yeah, mm, yeah, it's never good. <laughs> and then some cream in here too. Now I use, I do this exact recipe in the springtime. Thank you. Yeah. And instead of butternut squash, I use asparagus with it. So nice. It. But this is fantastic for, I think, as a starter for Christmas. I think so too. It's beautiful. It looks it's so nice. It? it looks so nice. We're doing it like rustic style. I think you're kind of. I think we're kind of similar. I quite like the kind of very relaxed type of eating. Right. I put things out on buffet and let people get as Me they too. want, and I don't. Me too. I don't fuss. It relaxes everything. Yes, exactly. It totally does. I Pour this over that, that cloud. So I did one layer of very thinly sliced butternut squash. Yeah. All of this goes over it. So this is where all the lightness and the creaminess is going to come in. And gotcha. then. I put another layer of the butternut squash. Now you can do all this up the day before you're actually going to bake it off, but I wouldn't actually bake it off until the day. Until I'm of course going to make you want to serve. It. You could right, do right, all right. of this stuff. But like you could that. get this totally set the night you before. You can totally get right. it all set like that. That butternut squash is going to get all golden and lovely. And Gorgeous then lots of fresh sage. sage. Sage loves squash. Yeah, yes. pecans. And then I'm just going to grab that honey just there. The honey just here. Do down you want it to be in the front of it? A little drizzle of honey. A little drizzle of honey like that. Yeah. And then the last thing I do is I kind of fold these over. You can cut these back if you like a little bit, but I actually quite like them being no, a I little like bit No, I like them messy. all crinkly like that. And then so you festive. do just butter it up again on this side because then that'll all crisp up. I mean, that already looks gorgeous, doesn't it? And, and yeah. it's raw, right? And it's and raw. So that goes here. into the oven. Exactly. Yeah. That's how it looks like. Isn't it yummy? Yeah. Lovely. Isn't that beautiful? Ooh.